Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Live Mystery Box Breaks, brought to you by Ultimate Autographs. Don't worry, I think it was just the audio of the media, but it should be all good for any issues with the audio. If not, let me know in the comments, but I think it's all good. Yep, we're all good. Um, but I am back at it again, hosting tonight, Danny Z, back at it. It is 8 p.m. Central Time on our August 15th. 2020 Saturday show. Did the 2 p.m. showing and um, back again at 8 p.m. We got again a bunch of loot crates, bunch of deck attacks, bunch of new fantasy football helmets, brand new series right here. Still got some completes from our uh, new listing of 100 here. Last three loaded dice are in the room for the full size. If we can finish that series off, that would be amazing. Very cool if we can get that done. Uh, Dorian, looks like you did buy a personal. I'll have you down here. If you want to call it a box number right now, go right ahead. I can put you down, and we'll get to that in a little bit. For that deck attack, you want a box number 44? Got you right there. I'll put you down for number 44. We'll get to that in the middle of the show. Also got the Rushing King Mini. He's got a bunch of those left, so we can get into those. We got a lot in store today, guys. I'm looking forward to a long night. Let's get a lot of boxes open. You see this wall behind me? I want to dwindle this down to nothing. Let's see if we can do that tonight. Looking forward to doing some double, triple, quadruple breaks if we have to. If you guys want it, we can do it. All right. And you're right, I didn't put that under the wrong name. Got you right here, don't worry. There it is. And Canyon, I got you for your personals. Let me know the box numbers you got. I know you got a fantasy, and I know you got two complete helmets, so I can put the numbers down right now if you want to call the numbers out. After that, we're going to go into... Yeah, you have three total now, so you got two complete NFL helmets and one fantasy football, it looks like, on here. For the fantasy football, if that's what you're talking about, it looks like it's still filling up right now. Uh, we have a few other ones that are filling up. Uh, right now, we've got Rushing King 1. Rushing King 1 is all done. And Canyon's saying number 4. Number 4 it is. We'll do number 4 for the fantasy. And then looking for two box numbers for complete NFL helmets. 1911 it is. I will mark those down as well for you. A little low on room here. But I got it down next to it, so we got box number 11 and 19. I'm going to take those off the listings at the bottom so we don't get mixed up with those. And then we're going to get into our loaded, or our dice roll for the day. And then get the show on the road. Uh, deck attack was 44. There it is. And fantasy, we got number four taken. Thanks, Hype Man Henry. I just added a little touch myself, just a little red to uh, do that. I mean, the rest of them are still the same, just the personals. I thought would stick out a little bit. Might testing it up, testing the waters might do it for the rest of them. Well, we got Russian King number one right after we do this dice roll for the day. Let me get the randomizer up for you guys to see. Uh, that's the wrong one. What up? We need our randomizer. There it is. There's a randomizer. Dice roll of the day. Need a six or better. And we go on with number nine. Number nine for the day. I think we had nine earlier, too. Nine's been the number. All right, so number nine for the day, and we're going to do our loaded dice mini number one, Russian King. 
list is down here below. If you guys want to call out a box number, go right ahead. Um, some of the ones from 2 p.m. are filling up right now. They are still filling up. Uh, we got a few that filled up already. We're looking for two box numbers here for Loaded Dice Rush, or not Loaded Dice, I'm sorry. Russian King Mini number one. Anybody in this listing call out a box number while we're doing that. I'm going to get the list randomized and going. Blue Crate yet has not been done. Still working on our first break of the night. Got Victor Mendez down to Timothy in the division standings. And we're just looking for two box numbers here. We got, let's see what we have available. 6, 10, 16, 18, 19, or 18, 29, 32, 35, 36, 37, and 38. If I said 29, I meant 28. Give you guys another minute to call it a number. If not, I will randomize it and the top numbers will be it. What is the fantasy? Fantasies is the um, it's a variety of different kind of helmets, full size helmets per usual. For those, um, it's going to be just has a bunch of different names. You got Tua, Kyler Murray, uh, Miles Sanders, some different Eclipse ones, a few. I think most of them are replica ones, but I think we have one or two that are. Authentics. So just another helmet break, pretty much, is the gist of it. Ah, oh, no worries, man. Got you for tonight. Got your personals for tonight. Um, all right, so it's going to be a minute, since everyone's taking a minute on getting those... Numbers called out. I'm just going to randomize this nine times. Top two numbers will be the box numbers for these. We'll get the show rolling. And nine. So we got 32 and 37 as the box numbers. We're going to go with those two for the Russian King Minis. 32 and 37. So let's get the show started. So we got the names all organized into their divisions. We got our boxes pulled. Now we're going to open these bad boys up. Still got plenty of headliners. I don't know if we've hit Emmett Smith yet in this one. I don't know what Donnie did on Friday, but we still move along. This is box number 37 here. Best of luck, you guys. Let's have a good show. See away. First break of the night for our Russian King Mini number one. This is a Dallas Cowboy, Mr. Randy White. Randy White got Super Bowl. I think that's 12 underneath. Can't necessarily see what the rest of that says. I think it's Hall of Fame or something. Not 100% sure. But Randy White for the Dallas Cowboys nonetheless. Going out to the NFC East. Michael S. Taking on that one right there. First break of the night once again. 
Going over to Michael S. for Randy White. You do have a chance to win three items if you go into the loaded dice or if there's a three box break. You'll have a chance to win possibly three items for either a loaded dice or if we post a three box break. So we'll pull three different kind of helmets in there. Depending on what division you're in, it could be all the same division, <clears throat> or it could be three different divisions. Alright, that's the first one for Michael. Next up is number 32. Don do a triple fantasy if we see the numbers growing tonight on those boxes. They're a little bit trickling slow with those uh, new ones, so we got to get into the flow of the triple fantasies before we post one. But next up, we got ourselves a Carolina Panther. This is the new rookie, Derek Brown, number 95 for the Carolina Panthers. Out in the NFC South. Gary L taking on that one. Got himself Derek Brown of the Carolina Panthers. The former defensive lineman out of Auburn just drafted this year, seventh overall. Again, Gary's taking home that one. Congrats on the win, Gary. Got yourself a dub. Finishes the R Rushing Kings number one. Be more postings later on. Check them out on the website for these guys. Plenty in store. All right, next up we got our Loot Crate number one. Loot Crate number one is filled out and ready. Loot Crate's right here. We got the names all listed down here. Eight names. Looking for a single box number from these guys. Got anywhere from 289, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Looks like the Russian King 2 just filled out, so we'll be doing that shortly as well. And there's one more spot left for Ultimate Loot Crate number 2. Got all this is online. Loaded Dice Break just filled out too for number 1. So we got a lot in store. You guys are filling up a ton right now. Love to see it. As we're looking for a single box number to get our first Loot Crate off and going. shine the comments tonight I see we 
got one for 13. All right. Looks like that will be our number. That's Mr. Wells right there. Um, so we're going to go with number 13 for the Loot Crate. Three potential items to win in this here. If anyone's interested in these as well, they will be online. I think two is just filling out now. And we're good. Let's do it. All right, randomizer going nine times again here. Brian Dolina to Charles Wing. Division set again. Three items in here. We got a mini jersey and football coming out of this one. Box number 13 right here. Let's do it. First up is our mini coming out of this loot right here. Let's do it. Got our JSA. And first up for this loot crate, we got a Los Angeles Ram. This is new linebacker Terrell Lewis. Just drafted this year again as well. Youngster on the Rams helmets. These are actually their old ones now since they just got a revamped uniform. So you'll be seeing a few of those coming in a few breaks later on. We got some of their new helmets in their bright blue and yellow. But these is a nice, nice looking white helmet. Terrell Lewis right there in that signature. That's going home to the NFC West. Amos taking home that one right there. Terrell Lewis. That first win for the Loot Crate. All right, next up, we're going to our football football break here. And we got out of the NFC East, a Philadelphia Eagle. This is Mr. Deshaun Jackson, the speedy wide receiver, part of the miracle in the Meadowlands. Deshaun Jackson left a little bit to go around, played with some other teams, and came back to the Eagles, most likely to finish his career there in the next few years. Got your... JSA along with it out in the NFC East. That's going to Christopher Wells there. Congrats on the win, man. Got on the backside the championships of 1980, 2004, and 2017 for the NFC championships. And you got your Super Bowl 42 as well, or 52. On top of the signature on the Eagle logo, right next to the Eagle logo. White panel football, once again, easiest to sign. Sometimes you get those super grip ones, though. I think we got that Jim Kelly as a super grip. All right. Last one is our jersey for this break here. All right, we got a Pittsburgh Steeler. This is Dermani Dawson. Dermani Dawson for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Hall of Fame signature on it as well. You got your JSA included. Let's open this up to show you guys number 60. Number, yeah, number 63 right here. Hall of Fame class of 2012 along with the signature right there. Out in the AFC North, Timothy K taking that one. Got three winners on this one break here. Congrats on all the winners, Tim, Amos, and Christopher.
Alright, and last guy, we got Tim K. Alright, once again, congrats on the winners. That's end of loot crate number one. Bag all this stuff back up. Be shipped out on Monday. Unlike Logan, I do know how to fold a jersey. Perfect, there, not that hard. Don't know what's so complicated about it. Names are all listed down here. Don't worry, uh, don't worry, Christopher. I put you down specifically with your last name since there was another Chris in this break. Everything will be handled there, so there's no mistakes at all. Next up, moving right along, filling everything up right now. I think we got Loot Crate Two just finished out, but we're gonna go to first up is our. Deck attack number two that filled out before number one. So we're going to go to deck attack number two. Numbers listed down below. Looking for a single box numbers on these. I know people are requesting a double box break. We might be interested in doing that tonight. Double to triple. I am interested in possibly doing. Especially for these ones. These have been selling. Going off the shelf like crazy. But looking for a single box number here from the list down below. Dorian's calling box number 42. Thank you, Dorian. These are all authentic, remember. Some big time names still in there. Deck has not been chosen yet. Still looking for him in this break room. As the series dwindles, the series dwindled down to the last. I think we only have like 15 left of these. All right, nine times once again. And there is number nine. Box number 42 coming up. Top sealed, bottom sealed as well. Oh, that's a heavy one. Always heavy. These. All right. Got our JSA here. Nobody circles the wagons like the Buffalo Bills. We got ourselves a bill for the authentic helmet. This is running back Devin Singletary. Love this guy. I think he's sneaky good. Very underrated player in my mind. I think he's bound for a breakout season this year. Last year he did a really good job playing with McCoy in the backfield. Them splitting reps every single time he was on the field, though. He was electric. Yes, three people could potentially win on a triple box break if so, uh, if we do post one. Three possibly different people, or one person can win all three. So, either one of those. And that's going home to the AFC East. Justin taking this one here for the Bills Mafia. Number 26. Nice looking helmet. And like I said, a sneaky good player. I feel like this guy has a lot of upside. That Bills team, look out for them next year. Without the, without Tom Brady in that division, could be a new champ of the AFC East. We will wait and see on that though.
Strats on the win. Again, if we get enough comments on the deck triple break, we can post one of those for the next one. Happy to do that. Seems like Canyon is in for that. If anybody else is in for that, let me know in the comments. We'll get that up and going right away. And like I said, for the triple breaks, it could be three different winners. It could be two winners. Uh, it could be two different winners, or it could be one person win them all. It doesn't. All depends. All depends on what boxes are chosen for those. All right, we're gonna go to. Looks like loaded dice full size number one is done. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna jump into some personals. We're gonna do I think one of Canyons, and then one of Dorian's, and then we'll go back to Canyons later in the night. Just kind of mix it up a little bit. Correct. Three can win on the loaded dice because those are already automatically three helmets in that break. So this one right here is full size number one for the loaded dice. Three potential winners as the divisions will stay the same for the entire break. Looking for a box number as well. We got 18 we got 17, 18, and 20 remaining of these loaded dice full size. I'm going to randomize this nine times as we wait for a number. All right, what do we got? Who wants it? Joey Morris calling out number 18. So we got series number 18 coming up right now. One box at a time. We got 53, 54, and 52. Box number 54 coming up right now. Decks are authentic. If that's what you meant, decks are authentic. Brian Delina, are you not in this one? Are you sure you're in this one? Let me double check for you real quick. We got Loaded Dice 2, possibly, that you might be in. Brian Delina, you are at the bottom, so you are good. I think it's just cut off. Yeah, Don here, buddy. You're at the bottom. We're all good. I'm going to delete this row for you here. There we go. Now we can see better. All good. It is set up. You are in this, Brian. Just cut off at the bottom. Top and bottom both sealed. Number 18 coming up. All right. First up for the load of dice. Full size. Full size. What do we got? What do we got? Got our JSA first off. And we just had this man on a mini earlier. We got him now on a full-size replica helmet. This is the rookie Derek Brown. 2020 first round pick out of Auburn. Number 95 once again on the Carolina Panther silver standard replica helmet. Out in the NFC South. John Martinez is taking on that first one there. Got himself a win on the first loaded dice box. And a potential to win two more after that one. John Martinez, you are taking home this one here. The Auburn standout seventh overall pick again on a full size. Right. 
Next up for the full size mini is box number 53. As we're moving downwards from 54 to 52. And then this is still 18, don't worry guys. And divisions stay the same. Top and bottom sealed, no different there. Next, JSA certified once again, and we got an LSU Tiger, the one and only Jarvis Landry. Jarvis Landry on the LSU Tigers, number 80 written on there as well. This is a shoot replica, shoot replica helmet here. Got the LSU Tiger signature right there on the top. The tandem of him and an Odell Beckham back in college now on the Cleveland Browns. So that is going out to the AFC North. Grayson Wagner taking home the dub on that one. And if I do believe if I'm correct there, it is a headliner for this one. Not 100% sure on that. Nope, doesn't look like a headliner, but still a good hit nonetheless. Grayson Wagner taking this win here. I believe it's shut. Did I say shoot? Yes, shut. Did I say? I don't know. I believe it. I believe it is shut. I think I might have said shoot on mistake, but it is shut. A shut helmet. Looks like he's loading up on the LSU helmets. Make a full team out of it. Not a bad team to have. A lot of all pros in there in the league right now. You took all the players that have been drafted out of LSU, you might have a pretty decent team, especially with this last wave of LSU Tigers that came out this last year. I believe the entire offense from the championship team of 2020 got drafted and are on a team, which is pretty impressive. Everyone that was eligible to go in the draft, that did go in the draft, got drafted for the offense for the LSU Tigers. You don't see that every day. All right, Grayson is done with his win. Again, that was Jarvis Landry. Now on the Browns. Last one for the loaded dice, number 18. Again, we have two left. After this, we have two left up on the website. That'll be hopefully finished out for the series. Top and bottom sealed once more. Our finale for loaded dice, number 1. JSA. All right, we got ourselves a Dallas Cowboy. This is Armari Cooper on a amp replica helmet. Armari Cooper right above the star, as you can see there. Replica helmet, enlarged logo out to the Dallas Cowboys. Big time name, stellar wide receiver. Nothing up but upside for this guy. Looking for a big payday in the upcoming years. Actually, I think he already got a payday. Can't remember exactly. I know Zeke did. I don't know if he and Dak Prescott did yet. Prescott, I know, signed the franchise tag. I think this guy's looking for his payday soon. Congrats on the win, Dustin Deddy out in the NFC East. I do wonder that. I know there's a lot of um, a lot of Alabama. I will say that 
probably a lot of LSU. Notre Dame's always in there as well, but I don't. Uh, Notre Dame has a lot of Hall of Famers. I know that for sure. But current players, I don't think too much. It would be an interesting thing. I'll get my stat guys on there, you know. I'll get back to you. Probably not today, but. We're not like ESPN where we got our stack guys that can get it to us in like two seconds. Come up with a piece of paper and give me the correct info. Congrats on the win, Dustin, Grayson, and John. Take it home. Some nice looking helmets of that loaded dice number one. All right. We're going to do some personals coming up right now. Buckeyes, yeah, I forgot about Ohio State. Ohio State's got a lot, too. Have not done Rushing King Mini number two. That's coming up shortly after our personals. We're going to do some. We're gonna do two personals right now. So we're going to do Canyon with his complete NFL, and we're going to do Dorian Deck Attack. We're going to do one of each for them, and then we're going to get Canyons later because he's got a bunch. So we're going to do, I think, Dorian's first, which is the deck attack number 44. Again, deck has not been picked yet, so he still is in the chance to get pulled today. He's got plenty of boxes for him. This is 44. This is for Dorian right here. Bought herself a personal deck Prescott series helmet. Let's do it. Best of luck, Dorian. Here we go. JSA right there. And for your personal deck attack, you got an authentic New York Jet. This is the long-tenured running back third... Ranks third in rushing all time. This is Frank Gore on the new looking Jets full size helmet. Big time win right there. Congrats on the win, Dorian, on your personal. Loaded dice are pretty much low, uh, three uh, box break. You are correct there. The loaded dice has three big helmets, three full size helmets, potentially to be broken. So three potential winners for those. It is pretty much a three box break. To sum it up. Congrats on the win, Dorian. You got Frank Gore on the Jets. Been around the league for a while. The former Miami Hurricane. Back in the heyday. And we're going to go to Canyons next. We're going to do one of his complete NFL helmets and then get back to his last two. So we wanted complete NFL helmet number 11 and number 19. I'm going to grab 19 for you because that's easier for me right now. I'm looking forward to doing double deck. Looking forward to doing that. I think once the once the next deck attack fills up, let me see where we're at on that actually. Um, deck attack number one is still filling up. So once we get deck attack number one done, deck attack number three is going to be a double box break. I'm feeling like we're going to do that. That's going to get it going. Uh, Alright, so we got number 19. This is for Canyon for his first complete NFL helmet here. Top seal, bottom seal. 
Best of luck, Canyon. Here we go. All right. Which one's a double? It's going to be Dak Attack number three is going to be a double. Deck attack number three is going to be the double. As we got, we're doing your personal right now, Canyon. This is personal number 19 for Complete NFL. You got your Beckett COA right here. Oh, I got, I didn't even see who it was. All right, we are. All right, coming out for you, Canyon, right here. We got a Denver Bronco. This is Demarcus Ware. Demarcus Ware on the replica Denver Bronco number 94, as you see on there. Take it home, that one, you are. So that's your first one here. And we're going to come back to the rest of your personals after this so we can continue doing the breaks. So we got two more personals for you coming up in a few cannons, so stay tuned for those. But right now, you got yourself to Marcus Ware to start off. You got a complete and a fantasy coming up shortly. actually have um, a pretty good stats person in behind the scenes. We got a new behind our behind the scenes person. Her name is Shayla and she is killing it right now. And we found out schools with the most Hall of Famers is Notre Dame. Notre Dame has 13 Hall of Famers to start off. Southern California coming in tying it, tying them for number one is also tied at 13 Hall of Famers. Michigan and Ohio State come in next at 10. And then Miami, Florida comes in at fifth with nine Hall of Famers. So that is your question answer there on the who has the most Hall of Famers, which colleges have the most Hall of Famers. Thank you, Shayla, for getting me those stats. All right, up next is we're going to go to loaded, or we're going to go to Gonna go to our rushing king mini number two. We need two box numbers off of these. Let me just fix this real quick. All right, that's completed. So we got rushing king mini number two ready to go. Need two box numbers from these guys here. Six, ten, sixteen, eighteen, twenty-eight, thirty-five, thirty-six, and thirty-eight are available for choosing. Michael Randall, David, Michael, Andrew, Amos, Clark, and Dustin looking for two box numbers to get this going. We got Mike Gallagher calling out sixteen and thirty-five. We will do those two for you. Nine times on the randomizer once again. Lists are up. And there's nine. Dustin Betty starting us off in the NFC North. Michael Gallagher closing us out in the AFC West. Two popular divisions. Always see a lot of guys in those two. All right, let's do it. This is 35 to start us off here. See it on the bottom? Go. 
got our JSA right here. And we got another college mini. This is another LSU Tiger, Darius Geis. Darius Geis out in the league right now. He is a free agent currently, just released from the Redskins, or the team currently known as the Redskins. That is going out to the NFC East, Randall Garrett. Probably not going to see too many more of those minis for reasons of illegalness. He's out of the league right now. We'll see if he gets back in the league. But right now, he's a free agent. Out in the NFC East was his last team with the Washington football team. Yes, he has been released. I knew that. But that longest tenure was with the Redskins. So that is goes going to Randall Garrett taking on that one. It's a win nonetheless. Like I said, you probably won't be seeing too many of these minis coming around too often anymore. I think he played a few games. Definitely played a few games. Never played a full season, I know that. Yeah, I kind of thought so. Didn't think he was going to be back in the league anytime soon. But hey, he was a great college player nonetheless, so uh, got that going for you. Nah, I swear, I'm pretty sure he played in some regular season games. I'm almost positive he did. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm almost positive. Actually, I'm going to check that stat right now myself, because I'm pretty positive on that. He played in five games, had 42 rushing yards, 200, uh, 42 rushing attempts, and 245 yards. That is his playing career. But had a great time in uh, LSU, at least, so we got that for his many. Yes, he did play in 2019. Two touchdowns. He did have a 60-yard rush, so, I mean, potential. Potential was there. Just stupidity got in the way. All right, that's done for that one. We got number 16. Number 16 coming up here. Got a Fanatics right there. All right, coming up next we have Got ourselves a NFC North Detroit Lion. This is DeAndre Swift, the newly drafted running back. Going to be sharing some playing time with Carrion Johnson if he's still going to be sharing the backfield with him. But the newly acquired running back, DeAndre Swift, out of Georgia. Just drafted this year, 35th overall, second round pick. A lot of people are expecting this guy to be a breakout this year, breakout star. We'll see what that happens with that Lion team here. Oh, that's going up to the NFC North, like I said. Dustin Denny taking that one there. Congrats on the win, Dustin Denny. Got him on the standard mini helmet. Riddell Speed. Congrats to Dustin and Randall. Got yourself some wins. 
fix this real quick because I put number one and it's number two on this. There it is. I think we got a loot crate that's done. And Russian King Mini is also done. Mini number three is done, so we'll go into that soon as well. But right now we got loot crate number two ready to go. Boxes are listed down below once again. We just did box number 13 recently, so that's going to be removed from the listings. Cozy Panda, what's your actual name? Don't remember off the top of my head what the name is connected to the Twitch handle. Got to be in this break, so I'm just looking for confirmation of the name there. Gentlemen, thank you. Got you down. Box number 15 right here. Got two spots for you here on that, along with David Matthews, Andrew Armstrong, Brian Young, Janice Franz, and Brian Pittman. Good group playing here today. We got our randomizer coming up right now. is done. Brian Young starters off. Jenna Lynn taking home the last two spots of this. So it's going to be out of the AFC East and West for Jenna. Best of luck you guys. Three potential wins on this again with the football jersey and the mini. Box number 15 top and bottom sealed. First up is the mini, per usual, let's do it. Got our JSA right here. And coming out we have, for the AFC East, a Miami Dolphin on the old school helmet. This is Jim Langer. Jimmy Langer, out for the Dolphins. Hall of Fame class of 87. Going out to Jenna, you are taking home that one in the AFC East for Jim Langer. Number 62, the former offensive guard, offensive lineman, and center played for the Super Bowl undefeated team. For Super Bowl, what was that? Seven and eight. He was in seven and eight, two-time Super Bowl champ, six-time Pro Bowler, and, and again in the Hall of Fame, 87. Congrats on the win, Jenna. Dorian saying that Frank Gore is up for trades, but only if it is an authentic helmet as well. So any Jets fans out there or just Frank Gore fans in general, if you all want that, got to pony up an authentic for Dorian. All right, coming up next is the football here. And we got four. A Wilson Super Grip Football. This is, let me see if I can get this out of the bag for y'all. This is the man himself, uh, Calvin Ridley. Calvin Ridley. Got your JSA right there. This is on a Super Grip football. I believe it's going out to the Atlanta Falcons. We got the Atlanta Falcons out there 
We mark this down for Jenna as well first. But the Atlanta Falcons out in the NFC South. Brian Pittman taking home the Calvin Ridley football on the uh, Wilson Super Grip. Nice win right there. Up and coming. Wide receiver in the league. Doing great things alongside Julio and Matt Ryan. That team is looking for a good year this year. You got Gurley on the team now and a hopefully revamped defense. You never know. It's always hard to predict the seasons for everyone coming up. Usually there's like one or two that you know for sure they're going to be good. And then like one or two they're for sure going to be bad. Everybody else in between is kind of a kind of up for grabs. You don't know where they're going to go. Alright, last one for this break here. We got in the baby blue San Diego Chargers, now known as the LA Chargers. We got oh God. we got Rod Mix on the powdered baby blue jersey. Love these baby blue jerseys. Also a big fan of the Chargers new jerseys that they're bringing out this year. But this is Ron Mix Hall of Fame class of 1979. Again, on that baby blue jersey, as you can see right there. Love the look of that jersey right there. Out in the AFC West. Jenna taking home two on this break right here. We got Jim Langer and now Ron Mix in the mix for her break. The offensive tackles, you just taking home offensive tackles. This break right here, number 74. Again, the LA Chargers, San Diego Chargers, played from 60 to 69. American Football League champion in 63. Eight time All Star. And eight time or nine time all pro. She is in he is in the Los Angeles Hall of Fame. Los Angeles Charger Hall of Fame. I really like the look of this jersey. You don't see this one very often. You don't see the stripes on the side. And the baby blues always look amazing. Congrats on those wins, Jenna, and congrats to you as well. Um Congrats to you as well, Brian, on winning the football. All right, that concludes this break here for the loot crate. Jeff and Brian for these though, real quick. Once again, congrats on you guys for winning those two. All right, slowly but steadily moving that wall behind me down. You can't see all the way over there, but that's dwindling as well. Got to work on those completes. Um, where are we at next? Before we go to Russian King number three, let me check our listing. Actually, we're going to do the personals after this. We're going to get back to Canyon's personals. we got two coming up. Blue Crate number three is filling up. we got five spots left there. we got another Russian King up and ready to go. 
Three spots left for the DAC attack, and then we got the double break for number eight. Got to fill that first one up, though, with three spots remaining for the DAC attack. DAC is still in there. Loaded dice still available as well. We got three spots left for the other loaded dice. And the Fantasy Football Series is moving as well. Only four spots in that one remains. So join in all the fun. Get some good breaks. Let's get some good headliners coming out of here. Up next, we're going to do our two personals for Canyon. Canyon bought three on the night. We already did one. We got two more to go for him. We got Complete NFL number 11 coming up right now. And then we're going to do his fantasy football one. If I can get through these. This is a little tight squeeze. Of course, it's all the way at the bottom. We'll get there at some point. And number 11. Come on, get out. There it is. Coming up right now. Top and bottom seal. JSA right here. And I said we were getting these in store. We are coming out tonight to see them live for the first time on the Ultimate Breaks. We got the brand new LA Charger helmets. This is again a replica going out to Canyon here once again for Gerald Everett. Gerald Everett. Joe Everett, I mean, the tight end for the Los Angeles Rams. These brand new helmets. It's their new design here. Got the bright blue and orange, blue and yellow there. Slick looking helmet. Big fan of those. Even the numbers on the jerseys look awesome as they fade from yellow to white. But this one, again, is going to Canyon for his personal. Congrats on the win. Brand new helmets. Next up for Cannon is his fantasy football. Fantasy football helmet. Called out box number four. Again, I gotta work my way down here. Add to each their own. I'm a fan personally. I think they look pretty cool. A new flashy look for the LA team.
Alright, again, this is number four. For Cannon. For this fantasy football. This is the first fantasy football helmet that we're opening up, actually. So congrats on being the first for that. Getting this personal here for you. All right, let's see what we got in store for the first hit of this series. Got your JSA right there. Coming out of the SMU Mustangs, this is Cortland Sutton. Cortland Sutton on a shut. Helmet, shut full-size replica number 16 for the Mustangs. Now on the Denver Broncos, staying with that horse theme name for his teams. Got the up-and-coming wide receiver for the team. Alongside Jerry Judy this next year with Drew Locke throwing him. A very young team. Also just signed Melvin Gordon, so that offense is revamped and ready to go. Congrats on all three of your wins, Canyons. Canyon. Hopefully we got you some helmets that you enjoyed. So we're taking home those three for you. will be shipped out again on Monday with anything else that you might win in these breaks today and tomorrow. Here's the fan. All right, we're good. Say good. All right, that finishes up the personal there. All right, coming up next, we finish the personals. If you guys want any other, if you guys buy any other personals tonight, let me know. We'll get that done. For our list, we got Russian King number three is finished. in the works right now in the works we got two left on the deck attack live break number one we got five spots left on Rushy King number two still got that double box break available for the deck attack so if you guys want to jump on in those go right ahead again looking for deck tonight hopefully we can get them up and out of a box and we only got two spots left for the loaded dice series as well four spots left for the next fantasy one so a lot needing some closers we got a lot of available for the closers though all right this one here we got canyon john jared and london a four person competition for the rushing king mini number three looking for two box numbers out of this one here Thirty-eight is one. We need one more. Thanks, Josh. We need one more though. We got thirty-eight to start out.
What's our second one? What other one do you guys want? Looking for our last one, last number. Ten. Thank you, Josh. Nine times, randomizer for our double box break coming up right now. A little slow cannon, Josh beat you to it. We got 10 and 38 coming up right now. Division set, London at the top two. Jared closing us, closing us out in those divisions. In the last two, we got box number 10 right here. For the first one, here we go. Bang, bang, what we got? Our phonetics, authentic hologram verification right there. I think there was only two left for Loaded Dice. For Loaded Dice 2. Two or three, I'm not 100% sure. Can't remember what it was last time. For the mini that we got here. Is the one and only Joe Burrow. Bang! Big time hit. Big time hit. LSU stud. Drafted number one overall this year. Joey Burrow. Smoking Joe Burrow. Big time hit. Hell of a headliner. Lot in store for this dude. That's going out to the AFC North. Canyon Schuster. Going along with your personals. You are taking home Joey Burrow. Big time hit there. Actually, it looks like the full size loaded dice are done. So we're going to be doing that next. Just popped up. that Those loaded dice number two is done. Well, we got Joey Burrow. Look at that. Big time hit for the first one here. Follow it up. Let's see what we got. Back at COA. Hey, I'm sure there's a lot of people that are up for that trade. If you do not want a bangle, a Joe Burrow Mini, I'm sure, will be a hot commodity for the rest of the people in this chat here. But for 38, we got ourselves another big hit. This is the linebacker, stud linebacker, just recently retired, Luke Kakely on the Carolina Panthers. Carolina Panthers. Had a few of them tonight. This is about the third one for the Panthers. Going out in the NFC South, London, Demouth, Demuth, Demuth, London D, taking that one there, Luke Kakely. Congrats on the hit, both you guys, London. Congrats on that hit right there as well.
Yep, the pit, uh, sky's the ceiling for Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow. A lot of potential coming out of that dude. One of the better prospects for quarterback that we've seen in a while, probably since Andrew Luck's about, people are saying. One of the best prospects. Got the arm talent, got the mobility, got the IQ. See if he can bring the Bengals to the promised land in the near future. Got to fix that defense, though. The offense looking pretty decent. Defense might be a liability. Has Dak Attack 1 filled yet? Let me check for you. There was two spots left, le uh, left last time I checked. Now as I update the page, there is still two spots left. So you still got two left for Dak Attack number 1. In the meantime, though, we will go to Loaded Dice Full Size number 1. We got... Two more, remaining, two more remaining, including this one. So after this, we have one left. I'm going to post it online. We're going to post it online for loaded dice, full size number three, just to see what we get out of it. If we can finish it, that'd be awesome. It looks like you just filled number two. Looks like deck attack number one, I mean, just filled. So we got loaded dice, full size number two. Numbers are listed down below. Only have number 18, or I'm sorry, 17 and 20 remaining. Those are the last two that we have. So one of those box numbers, please be call, or, uh, called out by the list down below. Nicholas Patterson, Christopher Wells, Dorian, Dustin, Michael, and Amanda. Looking for a single box number 17 or 20 are the options. Number 20, thank you, Doran. So that last one's going to be posted. If you guys want to get in on the last loaded dice full size of the series, jump on in on that. Right now we're going with box number 20 here. We're going to start back from 60 down to 58. It's a three box break for our loaded dice. Let's see if we get some winners for y'all. That did not mean to be copied. Loaded dice, full size, number two, ready to get started. Top and bottom sealed. Best of luck, you guys. Here we go. Here we go. And for the San Francisco 49ers, we got Mr. Quan Alexander. Quan Alexander for the San Francisco 49ers out of the AFC West. 
Dustin Daddy getting home another win. Having a big night himself. Taking home Quan Alexander, the former Tampa Bay Buccaneer, now on the San Francisco team. Played last year, 2019. The middle linebacker for the team, or just linebacker in general. Out of LSU as well. Made himself a name for himself this last year on that stud defense. Did I say AFC West? I apologize. I'm sorry, Dusty, but that is going out to the NFC West, Nicholas Patterson. I meant the NFC West. Going a little too fast for myself. Nicholas Patterson taking on that one. Congrats on the uh, win, Nick. You will get a confirmation email on Monday that the package will be shipped. You'll get your tracking number and everything probably the afternoon of Monday. Once FedEx comes and scans it in, it usually goes through FedEx. So keep a lookout for that. All right, that's box number one for this. Box number two coming up right now. Fifty-eight. I'm sorry, fifty-nine. I got you, London. Yep, it is still coming on Monday, nonetheless. Top and bottom seal. You got your JSA again. And for the J-E-T-S, Jets, 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 the New York Jets, LaMichael Parine on the Riddell Replica, Speed Replica Helmet out in the AFC East. Michael S. taking that one right there for the AFC East. That is LaMichael Parine out of Clemson, just drafted this year as well. Perfect, glad we can get you that. Yeah, usually the bigger boxes will be going up through FedEx, so full-size helmets for the most part, or multiple of items will be going through FedEx. for the loaded dice is number 50. Let's see what this last one has entailed. Top and bottom sealed once again. Let's go. Coming up, we got a cert. Sorry, back at COA right here. For our 
finale for the Loaded Dice number 20. Dan the Man Marino had his jersey on. I don't know if it was Wednesday or Monday or Thursday or Monday. Had his jersey on recently. I think it was Monday. Big time name right there. Dan Marino. All time great for the Miami Dolphins out in the AFC East. That's a double win for the East. Michaels S. Taking home two wins there. Back to back wins on those loaded dice. Got that LaMichael Perrine and Dan Marino. Jets and Dolphins. Congrats on the win to the, both you guys, Michael and Nicholas. Sorry on the confusion for the earlier rounds, but I'm glad we got it fixed out. Michael, the double winner on this box break here. I think we got a deck attack ready to go. Deck attack, I think, was closed out recently. Yep, Dak Attack 1 is done. Grayson closed those last two spots out for us, so we're looking for a box number. Thirty-nine was finished. We already did thirty-nine. You are correct there for the Dak Attack, but we're looking for a box number on this one here. Dak Attack number one. We got twenty-nine. I don't know why I have forty-five on here twice. I think that meant to be thirty-five, was it? No. Yep, thirty-five. We got 29, 35, 36, 38, 40, 41, 43, 45, and 46. So give me a box number for those. We can get that open up right now. We got Justin Trevor, Michael Gallagher, Brian Pittman, Joseph Morris, Janice Grayson in this listing here. Double Deck Attack is filling up right now, along with some other Russian King break, number four. There's only and a loot crate is also filling up, so those are moving. Box number 41 was called out. Thank you. Thank you, Joey. Two box breaks still going up for the deck attacks. We've got five spots remaining. If you want to get on the action for a double box break for the deck attacks. Right now we got deck attack number one that filled out. Janice to Michael. J 
Janice to Michael. All right, top and bottom seal. Best of luck, you guys. Here we are. Let's see what authentic helmet has brought us to today. We got our JSA right here. All right, we got a big time name here. One of the meanest guys of all time. The guy who kicked ass and took names. This is Mr. Dick Butkus. Dick Butkus, Hall of Famer for the Chicago Bears on the old school helmet. Big time name right there. Hardest, one of the hardest hitting linebackers of all time. Out in the NFC North, Janice Brands taking this one home right here. Congrats on that win. Again, Hall of Fame class of 79 written down on there. Old school, authentic helmet. Mr. Dick Butkus himself. One of the best names in football, too. Love that Congrats on the win, Janice. All right. Cool, cool, cool. What's up next? I will tell you in just a second what is up next. We got Luke Craig, two spots left when I last checked. Now we need a closer for loot crate number three. Only three spots left for that deck tech double box break. And you are welcome, Janice. That was an awesome hit indeed. Don't see that guy come around very often, often in our office. said right now we're looking for that loot crate break number three still filling out double box break is closing out too in the meantime i think i'm going to go take a break for a second and while we're getting those filled out we'll be back in a moment give me just one second while we wait so we can get those filled out And I'll leave you with this.
come back. How'd you guys like the little uh, break time music? A little bit better than just dead silence for the next two minutes or last two minutes. And I see in the meantime that you guys got that double deck break filled out. You guys got hyped for the music and started buying spots. That's what it was. All right, we are at the double break. Let's get to the double break here. Looking for two spots here. Cannon took three. Dustin, Grayson, Cody, David, and Brian Pittman closing us out. Thank you for the close, you guys. <clears throat> what is left tonight? So we got plenty of stuff still left tonight. We can post as many as you guys want still. We got complete NFLs. We got fantasy footballs, deck attacks, loot crates, Last loaded dice. We have one remaining of the loaded dice that is posted. So loaded dice, full size number three has been posted. That's the last one for that series. And then we got what does it look like? It's four rushing king minis left. So four remaining for that. And we have loot crate number three posted, or that's finished out. So if you guys want to do any more, just let us know. <clears throat> I'm going to say you guys have been going pretty well with the deck attacks and loot crates. We're going to post another deck attack. So deck attack number four will be posted along with loot crate number four. We're going to post that one as well just to see if you guys are biting on those at all. Right now we got deck attack double break number three right here. Looking for two box numbers for this one here. Still trying to get that covenant deck Prescott speed flex authentic helmet. Let's see what we got. Uh, looking for two box numbers, like I said. Box number 40 from Brian Pittman, all right? Number 36, caught up by Grayson right after Bryce. We got 40 and 36 coming up. We got 36 right here, so we're going to do that one first. Let's get our names randomized here, see what divisions are coming up. There is the divisions there. Set for these next two breaks. We got number 36 coming up first. Top sealed, bottom sealed. Cross your fingers. Wish for luck. See if you can get this win here. Got our JSA off the top right there. And I'm just going to say it. We got a Dallas Cowboy right here. We have the man, Mr. Darren Woodson. Darren Woodson on the authentic helmet for the Dallas Cowboys, number 28. Darren Wood. That's how he signs it, Darren Wood. The all pro corner. Going out to the NFC East, Canyon Schuster taking that one there. Take it off. Yeah, another authentic helmet, or another win nonetheless right there. Darren Woodson going out to Canyon. Got that Dallas Cowboy big win right there. Congrats. Box number one of the double break. All 
All right, next up we got box number 40 coming up next. It's hidden down here. There it is. Nope, that's nine and a quarter. That's 43. 40's all the way at the bottom over here. All right, box number 40, divisions stay the same. Here we go, top is sealed, bottom sealed. store. All right. Got our packet sealer right here. All right, coming up next for a team out of the NFC East. It is the one and only Deck Prescott. On the authentic speed flex. Big time hit. That's the headliner of the series. Matt Black, speed flex, reflective cowboy logo with the white signature. Riddell, authentic speed flex. Big time hit. Canyon Schuster taking home two cowboys in this one break right here. Lucky division for him today. Canyon Schuster taking home a ton of helmets today. Big time hit. Been waiting for this guy. Look at that. The matte black and the signature just pops on that beautifully. Congrats on the win, Canyon. NFC East paid off for you there. You got two Cowboys in one break. Big time hit, man. And you got the Covenant deck, Prescott for the Deck of Tech series. Awesome hit, man. Glad this baby is going home. Again, that's closest thing you'll get to the on-field action. Big time hit again. For that deck attack, double box break deck came out. A box number 40 there. Got himself a new home at Canyon Schuster's place. Crate number three is coming up right now. Corey, Christopher, Cody, Brian, Jenna, twice. Amos and Cody Butler coming out of this one here. Looking for a single box number for the loot crate. Other cowboy that you want. Cannon was Darren Woodson, the all-pro corner. Number 28, Darren Woodson. I got you, John. I got you down for number 12. His entire 
about a 10-year career with the Dallas Cowboys from 92 to 2003. All right, so we got box number 12 coming up. We're going to put the randomizer up and going. There's the divisions. All right, box number 12, as requested by Jenna here. It's right there. All right, Grace, I'm looking for another double deck. Let me see what we can do on that. If you get enough, if you get enough comments saying for a double deck, we can make that happen. Gotta see where we're at with everything though before we get into this break. Hold on. All right, if we get enough pre-comments in these uh, comments here saying that they want another double, double, dox, uh, double deck break, I will make another, uh, another double deck break since no one's bought into the uh, deck attack number four yet. We can make that a double break. We'll change it up to a double break if we get another, enough pre-comments. Right now we got box number 12 for loot crate number three. First up is the mini. Beckett COA. And it looks like we have a trend setting with this team. We got another Dallas Cowboy. And this is a very rare Dallas Cowboy, Mr. Tom Landry. Old school helmet right there. Old, old school helmet for the Dallas Cowboys. Very rare helmet. Worth around $500. It's a big time hit. Jenna is taking home this one here. It sometimes pays when you call the box numbers. She's taking home Mr. Tom Landry here. This has been through a lot. It looks like it is a, like I said, a very rare helmet. Man is not around to be doing signings anymore, so what you see is what you get when you see him online. This is a nice looking helmet. Awesome signature. Jenna Lynn taking that one right there. Amazing hit. Feel bad for Logan. This has been a kind of a Cowboys night. He's a huge Cowboys fan. He loved when we saw that get one get in the office. Sad to see it go, but Jenna, you are taking home that one there. Next up for the football, for the first time we see them tonight, the Kansas City Chiefs, it is Christian Okoye, Christian Okoye for the Kansas City Chiefs, got your JSA in the bag as well. Going out to the AFC West. This is the AFC West this time. The running back, the fullback, number 35. The Nigerian Nightmare, one of the best 
nicknames in the game, played from 87 to 92, two-time Pro Bowler, Offensive Player of the Year of 89, and is in the Kansas City Hall of Fame and Ring of Honor. Big time hit that is again is going home to Cody Butler. Congrats on taking home the Nigerian Nightmare. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. It's been around roughly at two hours now. And we are keeping the night rolling. Again, I will be breaking all night if you guys keep buying spots. We've got so much more to go through. Next up, we have our finale for the Loot Crate number three for our jersey out in the AFC East. This is a Miami Dolphin again, Jason Taylor. Jason Taylor for the Miami Dolphins. the bag for y'all to see. Got your JSA right there as well. The teal blue Jason Taylor Miami Dolphin out of the AFC East. Amos, Mr. AJ is taking this one here. Looks like Russian King Mini 4 just closed up as well. And I don't think we'll be doing that deck, double deck yet, because we have not got any pre-comments on that. So we're just going to keep it as is. We'll have a solo up on the website if you guys want to get in on a solo deck attack. If not, not a problem. So we got Amos winning this jersey. Not a problem, Amos. Glad we can get you some wins here, my friend. Once again, congrats to all the winners, Amos, Cody, and Jenna on your three wins there. We got Russian King at number four in the making. Actually, that's done. I apologize. Uh, do not have any WNBA in the stock. We have some NBA stuff and some boxing stuff. I know a little bit of hockey. We're looking to do a hockey series sometime soon with the pucks that we have remaining. But I don't, I doubt we have any WNBA stuff. So let me see where we are at with the breaks. We got four spots left in the fantasy football series. Seven spots remain in the complete NFL, one and two. 
seven spots remain and the loaded dice break number three. That's our last one for that. And then eight spots left on the DAC attack number four. If nothing moves while we're doing this last break, this Russian King mini number four, we will call it a night on that. Yep, we're in the works of doing a hockey series right now. We've got a bunch of hockey pucks that we have in inventory, so we're trying to get that up and running. We will let you know when that's posted and going to be coming up. Trying to do something with these playoffs going on. Um, need two box numbers. I know we only got eight left. I mean, four left for the uh, for the Russian Kings. Six, 18, 28, and 36. Looking for a box number for these guys. Two box numbers, indeed. We got number 18 and 36. Yeah, I got your uh, posted the order number online. We can do a DAC attack real quick. Not a problem to me. More than happy to do that. And give me the box number that you want along with it, Grayson. So we got 18. Oh, 36, not number 6. Eighteen and thirty-six called out by Michael Simborski. Simborski. Here's thirty-six. JSA right there. You sure, man? I can do it tonight. Not a problem at all to me. More than happy to break it. If you want to put the order in now, I can get it up and going. But if you want to haul it off, not a problem either way. All right, coming out of this one. One of two mini for the Russian King. We got a man we had earlier on a full size. This is Quan Alexander. Quan Alexander, the linebacker. For the 49ers, formerly on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but now traded for the 49ers out in the AFC, NFC, NFC, NFC West. One of the same guy either way, even if it was the AFC West. Joseph Morris got himself a win. Hey, but a personal is an automatic win, so I mean, it's still a win either way. Nice win there for Joseph. Number 18. JSA certified for this mini as well. Coming out for the Buffalo Bills. It's been a hot division tonight for the AFC East. It is...
Daryl Taylor. Daryl Taylor, Spider. Nickname for the Bills. Christopher Wells out in the AFC East winning that one there. Congrats on the win, both of you guys. Christopher and Joseph, Quan Alexander and Daryl Taylor were pulled from these two. We went through a lot tonight. I'm going to see how our lists are doing. If there's any movement with them, I'll hold on for another minute or so. But if not, we'll call it a night. And Grayson, I can still open a personal if you decide to do it tonight as well. In the next few minutes, if you decide to change your mind again again. Like that might be it though so we are going to call it a night thank you all for tuning in thank you all for buying in some spots glad we got some big time headliners with Dak Prescott go today along with Tom Landry two big names in our series that we have going right now last loaded dice is probably going to be finished out tomorrow we still got a bunch of these going today still got to work on our fantasy footballs and complete NFLs on top of Dak and Luke Crates Logan will be in tomorrow at 2 p.m. And Donnie should be back tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Thank you all for tuning in for this entire Saturday with me. And you guys have a good rest of your night.